everything you and I take for granted, we just learn based on observing other people's social cues, reading between the lines. Our students don't see that. What everyone should be aware of with autism is that it's not going away and that we need to recognize that it not only impacts the economy, but the family structure, our education system. It is uh, all-encompassing. See one team, two teams really communicating about what they're doing together. When uh, um, they were building the structures, that was part of developing leadership skills and giving them the opportunity to see how a group dynamic works and see how the leader kind of rises up to make it happen. While that was going on, the teachers were asking them questions about what they had learned earlier in the semester. Next question. Name three things you should do while having a conversation. They had to answer questions about reading facial cues or keeping a distance away while you're talking to someone and why is that important not to get right into their face. You know, it makes people uncomfortable. Our students don't naturally understand that. People that have, you know, autism or Asperger's, that they can do things and that their life is not going to be you know, living at home the rest of their life with their mom or dad and, you know, sitting on the couch or playing video games that you can actually, you know, go out and do something with your life. And MLC showed me that there's that possibility for me to have the independence and that it's achievable. Our students can learn. Our students can live independently. They just learn differently. And if you can teach them differently, they will get it.